I went to FAU and I studied entrepreneurship, so I always figured that I wanted to be a business owner eventually. How did you go about learning about your target audience and what their needs were? Um, as far as learning what the customers like, so I first started doing, before I opened the Brick and Mora, I literally went to like shows, let's say they were having like a little shopping event. I started buying, I went to LA, I started trying to get in like some inventory. I went literally, like I still do this now, I would pull up a rack and sell clothing like literally like on the street or at the park where they're having some sort of event, like a food event or something. And I would kind of ask people like, what are you looking for? Do you want the sports bra that is like fashionable? Do you like support? Do you like the leggings that? So then I started getting feedback and asking my customers what they like. That way I was able to kind of buy the right things for the area. Where do you hear from me? You know, how do you learn about my business? Um, you know, as you said, you know, when you are starting, you don't have a lot of resources, you don't have a lot of money, um, and knowing where people are hearing about your business mm -hmm. will help you invest more of your time and effort into that. That is where you are going to see the return of your investment. Um, so definitely a really great hack right there. Boca Atletica is an athleisure, gym, and fitness apparel boutique. The owner, Maureen Pardo, opened this bricks and mortar store following her dreams of becoming an entrepreneur. Conveniently located in the heart of Boca Raton, Florida, Boca Atletica's main objective is to provide their clients with fitness apparel that is not only comfortable, but also elegant. Now, here's the host of the Entrepreneurial Vibration Show, Sandy V. Terry. How do you go about deciding about your location? I wanted to meet my customers and kind of get out there and just see who are the person that are buying them. Like through a screen, you could have an idea on who they are, but I wanted to build the relationships. The whole reason why I do this is because I love meeting people and having relationships with my customer and my friends. This is the rules of my life. It's like, I'm a people's person. I love people. All my customers were like best friends. Coming to the conclusion as to what is the right go-to-market strategy and how do you attract your customers? So at the beginning, um, I just started kind of figure out and I this is why you surround yourself with people that are you know more experienced or they have great like ideas so I had a friend suggest to me to once you just start going to the gyms and doing like a product demo and give the owner like a gift card to let you kind of use the space for a couple of hours and pass off flyers obviously it's not the fanciest job in the world because here I am carrying my rack and it's raining and but it's part of it's the whole excitement of being a business owner is like the whole struggle to it so I literally sat one day and I I figure out like a template the best way to word it to kind of convince people to let me come into our space I took me like I don't know like six hours to put everything on Excel sheet I color coordinated everything I started going to contacting each there's Believe it or not, there is like 80 or like 60 or 70 like gyms in Boca. Like literally just in Boca. <laughs> they are. <laughs> like not just gyms, but like pilot, like their friend training facilities. There is a ton. So I yeah. mean, the market is wide. Yeah. And, and we love them all. <laughs> I know, I know. They're all great. They all are completely different. I always say if you can yeah. multiply the same place and the same people, they will be identical. But every place is different. Every place has some something beautiful about them. They serve different audiences. Yes, yeah. everything's different. I always, I always say that to my um, gym owner friends. Um, but anywho, so I just tried to execute that first strategy that was working for me. And so I completely have attempted or tried to communicate with every single gym in Boca. Mm -hmm. So, and I also do like a feature on my social media so my customers know there's like a new facility or I just pretty much tried to get out there. Um, and so I feel like that has worked out for me, just like execution. And if I come up with a new idea, I try to like execute 100% before I move into something else. Mm -hmm. So then I could like engage like, was this really worth it or not worth my time? And and in my biggest strategy is always just like helping my other business ladies or my business friends or always giving out to a community in the sense like, you don't have to tell the world when you're doing something nice for them, you just help out. Like if people need help with like, instead of the website, I help them or if they have questions or if they need, if they wanna do an event or they're trying to get the word that I'm a little more knowledgeable on what to do because I literally went to school for this and a lot of people have not had the opportunity or they just did something else in the past so they don't really know like how to even start. So I just love helping people um, kind of make their dreams come true. My dreams is that everyone was, will be successful, you know? Like, I think if we all work together, we'll work faster. And I feel like that always comes around. That is beautiful. In the world. So that's my strategy number one, is like, I love helping. Uh, we've talked about the what, 
you, you know, you're selling the clothing. Uh, the how, you know, you're in the store and you like doing the engagement with the people as opposed to more online. Why did you decide doing this? Um, to me, doing this is part of who I am as a woman and as a person. Um, the most important thing in my life, my priorities are seeing my family as close as possible, being able to exercise, um, being able to have time for God. And so in order to, my, oh, my whole family is in Colombia. So in order to do that, I, I realized that I have to have a more flexible job that allows me to see my family. So I could travel all the time to see them as much as I can because it's the most important thing for me. I lived in a nice home, I have my house, I have, I ate, I bought whatever I wanted to do. Now I completely like, trimmed down 100%, I live in an apartment, I have no <laughs> furniture, uh, <laughs> I don't go out to eat all the time, I mean, my friends buy me food all the time, and, I'm like, I, I can sell cookies <laughs> on the street if I have to, you know? Um, and I hope that whole energy and that vibe actually is coming through that lens <laughs> <laughs> to everybody because I get goosebumps and, and it's just that, you know, motivation and that is exactly what I want to share with our audience. Um, you know, I know it's not easy all the time. It's not easy beachy all the time no, or rainbows. It's 10% beachy, the rest of the story. <laughs> but it's well worth it. Oh, absolutely. And, and, and you know, be why don't you tell us? I mean, I, I'm sure you had fears. I'm sure you had moments oh. that you had ups and downs. But, you know, you never, you'll never know that you are in a up only is that you go down, right? So why don't you tell us about yeah. those ups and downs? Um, I think I... I think one of my biggest qualities or my biggest weaknesses is that I'm very hard on myself. I, when I opened the store, the whole roof collapsed after the first day I opened. So that was like, you know, that was like a little bit shocking to me. And then kind of- A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Um, just like putting all, doing a lot of handiwork by myself, by myself, just because I, I, I'm not married, I don't have a boyfriend, so like just trying to do a lot of things just by myself and figuring out how to do. I have the most amazing parents in the world that anyone can ask to. Like, I just get emotional thinking about it, but like my dad would like tell me like, do this, do that, and it will help me like just do it. So like I always knew I could do everything. I would carry things in the car from Ikea, like all by myself, just like I always knew that I could do everything. and. Thank, and thank God I have like amazing customers. Like, I don't think they realize how much and how encouraging it is to like have someone to buy something from me because you guys are like supporting the dream or you don't know how much like love and thought I put into like all the things I buy and like I try them on and I make sure that everyone's like happy all the time because it's not just an item, it's something that I picked out for you and that the fact that you feel confident you wear it all the time and you tag me on social media or you test me, it means like so much to me because it makes all my efforts worthwhile then in general just like having a lot of faith i'm very religious so it always keeps me like grounded to have faith that things will get better and it's so much easy to quit because i could just go You're get right. a job like okay right, let me just right. go get it and i and i know i'll be successful in everything i do just because it's, i'm a hard worker and when you work hard you there is no <laughs> other way than for you to do well that is exactly why i have this show <laughs> Is because of people like you, you know, it's like you're a warrior and uh, you're doing the best that you can with what you have and you're not letting anything or anyone stop you. And that is exactly the message that I want to get out there to the mm -hmm. world for all those entrepreneurs out there that have any fear whatsoever. Don't let them. It's like fears don't exist. They're just in your mind. They're just inside of you and they're not worth it. You oh, know, yeah, there is people like you that you have those fears. You had a roof coming down on your head and yet you you got over it and you kept fighting and you had your family in Colombia and you have anything that you're going through, you can go through it. You can fight through it if you can't believe in on your dream. Yeah, and it's, and it's that is what character. entrepreneurship is all about. Um, so I, I thank you so much for sharing your dream and your story and your journey with me and with the world because that is the message exactly <laughs> that I wanted to share with everybody. Got emotional there. Yeah. Um, so shifting here a little bit, if you had a room full of entrepreneurs in front of you, mm -hmm. what advice would you give to them okay um 
always to make a party list of the things that they they make them who they are and what their parties are like for for example before i started doing this because i have watched other business owners or entrepreneurs um your parties what are your parties like my parties for marine parlor for myself is to be religious or to not forget about this where whatever you believe in be to eat healthy all the time and to exercise because it's part of what makes me feel confident in myself and and I still fitness clothes so it kind of goes hand in hand but never to let myself go because of my you could say job because it's not really a job it's my passion but just to keep that and always to think of my family and to always make time for friends the world is such a beautiful place and there is so many amazing interesting people especially in Boca because mm -hmm. you have like in a fluctuation of different people from visiting from New York, from different countries. I feel like every time somebody buys something for me, it is the experience and they take a little bit of me and every little piece that they take yeah. home. So That's I hope beautiful. when you put it on, <laughs> you think of me. <laughs> well, thank you very much. We got to the yeah. end of the show. I really appreciate you sharing your personal, very, very personal story with us and with our audience. Um, so how can people find you? Um, you definitely could follow me on Instagram or any social media outlet. Um, it's Boca underscore Athletica. Um, I'm, I'm very, um, I guess, Instagram active. Like, I put a lot of stories, a lot of um, posts. I do also have a website, www.bocaathletica.com. What is your email address? Um, it's, you could go to mpardo at bocaathletica.com. Or if you go to, like, any, like, my website, you could always get the number there, too, so. Bocaathletica.com. All right, thank you so much. Hi, it was a pleasure you. seeing you. <laughs> thank you. Hi. Now, we would love to hear from you. Tell us on the comments below. Was this advice helpful to you today? And how can you put some of what you learn into practice right away to start to see a difference in your entrepreneurial journey? Also, don't forget, if you found this podcast helpful, make sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the like button so we know to make more podcasts like this one.